This is Anthony Freightliner M2 Podcast, and I'll be talking about the Thomas C2 Julie all-electric school bus, and it's going to change the whole entire Thomas industry when they're making this bus. I'll be talking about what it does and how it's going to keep clean the environment up. So the Thomas C2 Julie is a direct replacement for the regular Thomas C2 with the tailpipe. So you'd be looking at school buses. You'd be looking at the ones like the gas ones, the diesel, natural gas, propane, or regular gas. I'll be talking about those little the Mino Tours Thomas build with the Chevy or GMC chassis. <clears throat> They use gasoline and or diesel if you got a Dury Max. So that pollutes. You'll have something all electric that doesn't plug in, that actually plugs in. And the gas ones, you don't plug them into an electric socket. And you don't charge it, so it does not plug in. But this plugs in. No emissions, no anything. All pure electric, electric motors. You don't have to hear that loud, huge diesel engine. Very quiet. The perfect school buses. You'd be thinking, how it's quiet. Well, electric motors, batteries. You probably know how bad batteries spin those wheels. There's electric motors in those wheels. You, yours gonna be a, a all wheel drive or rear wheel drive. And they make it so tough and some people out there don't believe about electric school buses and this is to prove the point on this podcast because this one is just about this bus other companies switch to electric too thomas was the first one to switch all electric thomas built buses is made in north carolina so they're that's their company it's american made school bus to be comparing to those other buses around like different countries are weird looking And you compare that to the Thomas C2. You'd be driving that thing down that road. You'll probably think about the school buses. How do you think does it drive? Yes, it does. It uses electric. It has big, huge batteries. And how does it work? So, some people out there, and I think it might be some of the bus drivers, and they've probably never seen this before. And... To know about the Thomas C2 Julie school bus. If, and this will be where I think they're also going to make a version for a a transit bus, an activity bus in the Julie. And how does it work? So, there's, when you charge your batteries, gets the fuel, all electric fuel into the batteries and charges them. Then when you start the bus, you'll hear you hear a buzzing sound and a humming sound. That'll be the brakes. If yours is air, you hear air. If you get the one with air. Then what you do is there's a button inside the lever as the out the outgoing ones from back in 2004. And I'll be having a scuss a little bit in this podcast because I'm gonna put some history behind this school bus and why it's so popular today so about the buses you have you have the neutral drive and reverse and park you don't have the lever anymore so you press those buttons and you go you'd be driving instead you compare to this gasoline one it doesn't go so it is so it doesn't move slowly nope you can pro- i don't know if it actually does so when you put your you put it onto your brake, you got your brake and your gas, ordinary brake and gas. And you press that gas button when you're driving down the road, you don't even hear nothing. You only hear the loud all that vibration from the metal when you hit on the speed bumps or driving on the rocks, the dirt, or on top of <laughs> I don't want on top of Barbie dolls. I have to put that in there because I don't like pink things. So <laughs> A really good school bus. You gotta think about the Thomas C2 Julie. Gonna say how, why it's all electric. Will it run out of battery electric? Yes, it will. But here's the catch. You wanna hear the catch? 
and you will never run out of battery. Why? Because you charge it when you're done. So you plug it in the charger. It never runs out of electricity because you just plug it in. If Thomas made a solar power one, you would never run out of electricity during nice, sunny, bright days. And guess what? Newer buses have LED headlights on those big old yellow headlights. You see a huge sun coming out. Those are the headlights. Perfect school buses. The best out there. Go think, why do you think it drives? Well, how many times you saw a school bus before? Tons of times. You've seen them down the road coming because school is almost here. So when school starts or school as are some places, school starts in August, some school starts in September. So like those days, like during those schools, like if you're a parent, you'd be driving down the road, you're seeing some school buses flying by, picking up children, dropping them off, picking up, dropping them off. And guess what? The best selling school bus in America is the Thomas C to every school district wants a Thomas C2 because they're standing out with buses. Then we're going to put internet. Now for this one, just for this podcast, because I'm making a separate one just for this one, the International IC Bus. International. They have a new generation coming out. And this will be a longer podcast because you're going to be so excited about it. And I know all these people like school buses want to see it. And that will be my new reviewing for the new international school bus so that is not coming out into next weekend or tomorrow where well, on one day on do the podcast so let's talk about this bus like the international so international might have more safety features than a thomas c2 so thomas c2 has a new feature on their bus do you know when you walk out when you're driving down the road you see a red green and yellow light well, you be thinking about that. Put that on your school bus. Red, a green and red light. Guess what? Thomas did that. No other company never did that. So that's one cool thing about Thomas. So when you're walking down that down there and you see a car coming by, it tur- the red goes on. And you know there's a car going by because you know how many times. First thing, how many times a kid's got. Got almost got hit by a car because the stop sign comes out. Parents, humans, or adults driving down the road, not paying attention. I only believe I mean, those are young men and women because they don't care about the rules. Be driving down the road. It's just, you know, it's just a stop sign. They go past through. Thomas made that to be safe. Thomas did that. How many times those parents go and drive right through it? You're not supposed to. You have to stop when the bus stops. One thing about Thomas, those other two companies never made it. Bluebird and International. Now the Julie. So Thomas did a really good job designing this bus. I just love how this bus is just made for a lot of stuff going on. And I am outside, too, making this podcast, so you're going to hear a lot of chirping. That is the crickets. Then, this is not, I'm not, this is not about crickets. This is about the Thomas C, too. So, if you do hear this sound, it's the crickets. So, I didn't, I didn't say it on the first of the video about it. If you're going to think, how does that thing drive? I just want to know. Why I want to drive this school bus and why we can't just do stuff like this. Maybe you just go outside and how you know because you don't even hear it when you're. So your kid goes on the bus. How many kids, tons of kids go on the bus because it's the safest vehicle than your family car. It's safe. Even even a semi truck compared to a Freightliner M2. So <clears throat> and for this. A lot of mayor, a lot of school districts choose a type C school bus. I'm going to put it in here also because I will have a separate video just for me ex- explaining about which is the safest school bus to choose. Type C. If you compare it to the, so the type D, Thomas still makes ty- the type D. It's the one without this nose here. Those buses are real dangerous. Well, 
dangerous if you get in an accident because there's no engine part when you get in an accident. So you'd be driving in a road and you hit something. Sometimes when you hit something, like say a pole or something, it'll become like it become that like you know when you open up your can with a electric can opener or a a sawzall or a window can opener like no a can opener and there's no window openers so or a can so it'll open up like a can and that will be kind of dangerous so type c buses are the safest school buses that'll become with the type a and type c not type b's is the same thing but shorter they don't make type they're not even around anymore type b's i also making that video in the future too so school's coming up if you live in other places you're you're just school's already here school's coming up and we all know when you get to school you know the during every bus driver is going to turn on those gasoline or diesel buses and some will turn on those electrics Julie's. That's why this video is going to change the whole entire Thomas industry and talking about it and about so seats. They all everything's just the same inside. And you have the new Link app, connect something. It's like a screen, and you know for a fact. Oh yeah, one more thing. What Thomas does not have, I think International does. Is when you press the the child no child left, it doesn't say a voice. So, and I'm also gonna put that in there. The international used to have a girl that's saying about the child. Now it's a boy. Now Thomas, they don't know they have that for the Thomas built. So maybe the newer ones they do. It might be I don't know if it's a boy or a girl saying it. You know what? These buses are perfect buses to drive. How about the brother? Oh, the Freightliner M2. That's the brother of the bus. The sister is the Thomas C2, and the brother is the Freightliner M2. So they have the Freightliner EM2. E stands for electric. They have the E Cascadia. So remember, it's the EM2. It's based on the Freightliner, but they I, they don't even make. It's getting replaced with the Freightliner M2 Plus. I'm putting that in there. So it has a bigger, wider door. Very popular trucks in America. You know how many American Southerns drive a Freightliner? They said it's the safest truck. They think they build it better by Daimler Chrysler. This company is from Thomas Built. So Freightliners all around the whole entire world. Thomas, North Carolina. They built those buses. Put that in there. So... And also, I have so many interesting videos also about Thomas C2. I'm going to have a Thomas C2 playlist coming up too. And I will have a Thomas C2 podcast. And I'm going to mix up all buses maybe one day. I also will go live for this again because I remember I want to do this before school starts. And I will go into depth with these buses every time and everywhere. And it says, how about the Bluebird Vision? Okay, the Bluebird Vision. I will put this in here also. Because I know this podcast is only for the Thomas C2 Julie. I could put some extra things in there. Because I know I want to make it longer. So, the Bluebird Vision is a... It came out in 2005 or 2004. It was an old bus. It had a wide body. It was so loud. And has squealy brakes. They don't. Even, they still make the vision, but they also make an electric version too. So these three companies are making electric buses. And what? Who makes the best electric bus? Who makes the best? So if you pick out those buses, so I never seen the. I think the Bluebird Vision and Thomas are just normal. International? Yes, I saw it. Really don't like the hood design. So remember all that stuff. You'd be thinking how quite clean the air is when you're driving an electric school bus. It cleans the air. Do you know how many times you had to... First thing is, you know, to clean your air in your house, you need a HEPA filter. Your small, cheap $30 vacuum you get from Walmart has no HEPA filter. And you vacuum up... Or a $50 vacuum and you vacuum up sawdust or 
flower, how many times you get that gets in your air, and you sneeze every day, and you're that vacuum, you sneeze, and you put it in the, in the garbage can, because you sneeze, you're allergic to it. Well, no, you're allergic to dust. So that pollutes the air, dust. Where dust comes from? Skin cells. And when you take a shower, the dust comes off. It's like you can't put this in the shower. So the shower is the rain. So it rains outside. You take a shower. You don't go. You just don't go in the thirty dollar, thirty million dollar house and looking at school buses. Maybe you've got a thirty dollar million house. Maybe I'll get a school bus. So thirty dollar million house plus school bus equals Thomas C. to Julie. So. And remember, everyone, if you love school buses, you're right here to Anthony Freightliner M2. And I'm putting this in here because I do a lot of school bus videos. And that's going to be all lit for this podcast. I don't know if this is pretty much long. And if I, I can add more things to it, but... Well, just let me just think twice first, and I'll be talking about... So this is the end. Now we are going to the story of the school bus because we know for a fact about school buses. So next is the history. This school bus came out in 2004 when they're going to replace the FS65. So that bus was been around a little longer. Well, not that long because it's been part of International since when it first came out. You're about entering the Thomas International before Thomas got its own company. Well, use your own company for school buses. How good is the Thomas International? They don't even, they're not part international anymore. They're done. They are done. So that will be the history. This bus came out in 2004 and it's still running by today. So this is the Anthony Freightliner M2 podcast. And I will do great more videos and more school bus videos because school time's almost here. Children, and I will be having videos about teens. What does teens do on the Thomas C2 school bus? And why I say Thomas C2? Because it's my favorite school bus. That's the podcast. That's going to be it.